Now I want to get a check of our pinpoint weather and traffic together. Lots of rain yesterday and it's going to continue to fall out there today. Yeah, we're going to see several more rounds of rainfall, Danielle, and the rain could be heavy at times. There's the potential that some of our area could see an additional one to three inches of rainfall through tomorrow afternoon with the next batch of more widespread and heavier rainfall just off to our west. It's been passing through Springfield, Worcester and Hartford this morning and it's going to continue to trek eastward. So again, starting to see more scattered showers, uh, rain falling through the northern part of Rhode Island, an area that was really hard hit yesterday. Scattered showers, drizzle and mist elsewhere, but more widespread rain is expected here before the end of the morning commute. So we're going to have our threat tracker up into the medium category for today, tonight and Tuesday. The concern is with those heavier downpours, we may see more flash flooding similar to what happened yesterday. Right now, the areas that are most uh, prone to it are under a flash flood watch, and that's going to be for northern and west Western uh, Rhode Island. So communities like West Warwick, Warwick, Cranston, uh, into Providence, Cumberland, Woonsocket, Foster, Smithfield, all under that flash flood watch through Tuesday evening. Right now, it does not include the East Bay or the South Coast, including southeastern Massachusetts, although some areas like Barrington picked up more than two inches of rain yesterday. Warwick picking up more than three inches of rainfall and socket at an inch and a half. Cranston over an inch of rain. Gloucester just under an inch at last check and Westerly picking up much less than that. In fact, parts of the South Coast of Rhode Island into coastal southeastern Massachusetts, New Bedford saw barely any rainfall at all yesterday. You are going to have several chances for some showers. We've been talking over the last few weeks about how exceptionally dry May was up until the final day of the month where we completely erased our rainfall deficit at the airport. Warwick right now at 50 degrees, Seekonk at 50, 50 degrees in Smithfield too, 49 in Coventry, and about 50 in Westerly. Narragansett at 52, rain and drizzle. Really damp and raw morning out there and the temperatures again barely budging. 50 feels like 45. You're going to want to dress for this first day of June as if it's April. That's what it will feel like outside. Rain and drizzle, chilly conditions for that ride into work this morning between 48 and 53. So we've got another batch of showers pushing our way. Those will move through this morning and then we get a little bit of a lull, just sort of scattered showers and drizzle during the afternoon hours. We've got a low pressure center that will ride along a stalled front during the morning today and then another chance of more widespread rainfall overnight tonight and into Tuesday. This is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So rain falling likely through maybe the early afternoon, but watch what happens then we start to dry things out. I know that will clear out. I'm still looking at cloudy skies through the afternoon on Tuesday and chilly conditions, but the threat of heavy rainfall will diminish by later tomorrow. Today, though, it's all about the chilly, raw and damp conditions. Here's a look at the temperatures. Noontime, still mid 50s inland, maybe upper 50s in some of the coastal areas. We move towards this evening and it's just more of the same low and mid 50s for the evening commute. Seven day future cast. When do we warm things up? Well, not until second half of the week. So we start off in the mid and upper 50s today and tomorrow upper 60s on Wednesday and then between 70 and 75 for Thursday, Friday and the upcoming weekend. We'll have a chance for a scattered shower on Friday, maybe shower thunderstorm Saturday morning, but then the rest of the weekend looks to be dry 